Okay guys, probably wonder what I'm working on today. Today's Saturday, the 17th. Um, I'm the backup guy on call, and I was told to change out a disconnect that has melted on this one unit. And I was like, what do you mean melted? Let me show you. Okay guys, up on this roof, we have a few packaged rooftop units up here. Okay, refrigeration equipment. We've got some roof shaker exhaust fans. Um, maybe somebody could explain this to me. I have spots in my lawn that I can't even grow grass and meanwhile, it's growing up on a roof. Figure that one out. So, okay, anyways, here we go, here we go. This is a packaged rooftop unit, okay? You got your condenser fans, you got your condenser coil, got your heating circuit that's down here. This is natural gas fired got your disconnect uh, blower motor is inside here compressors are over here now um, so I was told to come out here because apparently a technician found one of these units uh, the disconnect was melted inside or something so let me throw my safety glasses they shut off power obviously when I walked up I got to check the breaker downstairs okay the reason why I jumped back, um, he mentioned about hornets. So always get inside any little nook and cranny. They find their way. You see that? See all melted? All melted. Now, what typically, what typically causes your wires or disconnect or just anything like that to melt is generally if the connection's loose. Okay, that's one way. If it's too loose or extremely tight. Um, if people crimp connectors like spade connectors and whatnot too tight, then it changes the amp. Oh, I can really smell that. Yeah, that electrical burning smell. So what I'm going to do is I have to go verify that our power is locked out and tagged out. And then I'm going to check out um, power uh, just to verify we're off up here. And then I'm going to switch out this whole disconnect because what has failed is those that main mounting lugs on top. Okay. So, and that's actually the main power coming up in from the ground. Well, from, from my roof curb, so. So, all right, let's go check power. Okay guys, now I do have the power locked out and tagged out downstairs, but you always treat stuff live, especially when you're inside of a disconnect and you can't see the other end in case somebody flips it on. And I did notify them that I locked it out, tagged it out, and I shut the electrical compartment door, so. But, check this out. Okay, so we know our power's off. Let me flip my mask down. As you can see, it's all melted, okay? All melted. Now how a disconnect works, okay, I'm gonna flip this on just to show you guys. I'm gonna stand out of the way. Now there's a set of knife blades that's inside. So basically when this, well, you gotta flip up on the, uh, inside of here is a safety switch. It knows when the door is shut. Um, let me see if I can engage this, there we go. Now. What I did, I pushed it into to, to uh, engage it, thinking that the door is shut. So only do this if you are safely trained on this and have the power locked out, tagged out. Okay, knife blades engage, disengage, okay. Engaged, as you can see, they're missing, they're out. Okay, you can see the one knife blade's totally missing. Don't worry about that, that's not smoke, that's just some residue dust. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, rip her out.
Okay, guys. And there is our new one. Hopefully it's the same. And it's pretty darn close. So, okay. Fogged up, everybody. Fogged up. We got a storm heading in. In Pittsburgh, a storm? Huh, never. Okay, guys. Well, what I did was, if you have any burnt, damaged wires, okay, or oxidized or whatever, cut them off to fresh copper, okay? We luckily had enough extra wire. So we got all three landed. I'm going to go ahead and check amp draw uh, after I fire this up. Well, check voltage to ground per leg check between the legs then i'm going to fire it up check amp draw if our amp draw is really high on one particular leg i'm going to see if something's going on inside the unit could be could be a compressor could be just a bad connection could be a motor could be, could be almost anything okay let me go flip on this power before we i get uh stuck in the rain so okay guys i just turned my breaker back on so let's go ahead and just check power we're going to check each leg to ground and then we're going to go ahead and check between the legs. Okay, we got our ground lug down here. Let me see if I can get this on camera for you guys. Ground lug. 117. 118. 117. Now we'll check between the legs. L1 to L2. 205, L1 to L3, 204, L2 to L3, 204. So far, we're looking good. Okay, now we can go ahead and fire this bad boy up. Actually, you know what? Let's just take a glance inside. Just, just for anything obvious, just for anything obvious. Okay, so you got, uh, looks like three stages of compressors here. One, two, and three. Okay, here's your main power coming up in. You know what, I'll check those real quick with my Allen key because we don't have power there at this time. <clears throat> and sorry, I was burping. Let's see, nothing looks burnt. So far, so good. Nothing smells burnt. Wires look good. I see a nice copper coating. So I'm going to check these real quick with my Allen keys and then we'll fire this up. Yep, one stage of gas, two stage of gas. All right, guys. If I don't trip and fall. Okay, we're bo our circuit board is powering up. I see some communication. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, let this ramp up and I'm gonna check amp draw. I'm gonna wait till that fan kicks on and wait for the compressors to stage up. I know this is serving a kitchen that's extreme. It's actually hotter in there right now and probably more humid than out here, so. Okay, let me uh, take a few minutes and wait for this to fire up. Okay, guys. Uh, I was checking it when the second uh, compressor was on, but we have one on currently. Let's check amps. 30.8. 30.8. 30.8. Okay, that black one was the one that was burnt. 
That black one was the one that was burnt. Um, let me show you guys one other thing. Let me take my glove off here. Ah. Oh, Woo. just sprinkling a little bit. Okay, uh, one thing. When you're there on maintenance, or I'm sorry, since I did the repair, I, I'm nosy, okay? I like to look at filters. These filters could use a good cleaning. It's for a kitchen. You can see all this uh, dust and grease just like is a magnet, okay? Um, I would definitely recommend changing out air filters. I will mention to our customer. Okay. Um, I did check the belt before it fired up. There's old belts in here. I don't like to leave old belts because they tend to get a little bit moldy sometimes. But now what I mean by being nosy, watch this. Oh, oh, that's nice. It's an outlet. I can go ahead and uh, plug into if I got to run an extension cord. A lot of yellow jackets in there. So somebody's going to get a big surprise. Okay, guys, but that's basically it. So, oh, yeah, and by the way, I took, um, I forget whose advice it was. This is no longer a, uh, a metal ring. It's silicone, okay? Safety first. Um, I forget the guy's name right now. I do apologize. But, so we had a high amp draw on one leg. Um, I want to go down and feel the breaker. Just feel the breaker. To go in the breaker panel, that's technically an electrician's job. I have gone in there before just uh, as, like, because I knew the wire was loose on the breaker. If it gets loose on the breaker, that'll cause high amp draw as well and burn it up such as this, but it happened up here. Most likely the problem was just up here. So, but uh, so far we're looking good and um, I'm gonna clean up. So have a good day, everybody. Thank you very much for watching HVAC Explained. If you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you got any questions, comments anything uh tech advice go ahead share it everybody watches youtube so might as well try to give them the uh the 411 here so all right thank you very much have a good day